Look, I have to be honest, guys. I hate the word fake news. It's politicized to all hell, and it ends up muddying conversations about real things far too often. However, I can't think of a better way to describe what we're talking about today. Many of you have seen the headlines and reports out there, and I know this because I keep getting DMs and comments and questions about it. Hey, Nate, when are you going to talk about the fact that NVIDIA is frustrated and mad at Nintendo? Have you heard about a report that NVIDIA is very frustrated with Nintendo? I thought this video was going to be about NVIDIA being upset with Nintendo. Heck, look at the various headlines out there. It's hard to miss this big story as it continues to spread even today. What really made me finally decide to dig into it research, and talk about this big story came to a head with a recent episode of the Nintendo podcast, which is hosted by and ran by Wood Hawker, otherwise known as Beat'em-Ups, and it was their 100th episode, which brought back the original co-host, Bob Wolf, from Wolf Den. Keep in mind, I think in general they put on a pretty good show, but they casually had this topic, brought it up, and sort of acted not surprised and brushed it off. Um... <laughs> I put something in here about an NVIDIA handheld that's competing with Switch. Did you? I, I put this in here Actually for you. I don't know about that. I put it in here for you. I do not know do about Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, I want to know about it. <clears throat> Tell me all about it. So I don't even know. I was hoping you would know. That's interesting because everybody's been saying for years that the next Switch is going to have the Tegra 2 chip, which is an NVIDIA chip. Yeah. So, well, so the Switch 1 has NVIDIA. Yeah, so but, if... if NVIDIA is directly trying to compete against the Switch, that'd be crazy. A lot of these other handhelds are using AMD. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, so I don't know where to begin reading this article because there's quite a lot here. Well, yeah. What are they going to... How are they going to power AMD it? is like, dominating is, the gaming handheld scene. They can't scene. have a Windows... Things point NVIDIA towards... NVIDIA SOC. Two. That'd be wacky. <laughs> what? What's happening over there? There's a lot of ads. Like, if you're over 40 years old... We need to get ad block on that thing. <laughs> So Media MediaTek is also working on a gaming handheld SOC with NVIDIA GPU oh. as Jensen is frustrated by Nintendo and he sees a good market potential. So it's NVIDIA did the uh, Shield and then that yes. failed miserably so they stopped doing it. Except I think it was big in China because they didn't really have uh, game consoles at the time. Uh, that failed and then they put the Tegra in the Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo Switch was massively successful and then the Steam Deck came out and all these other consoles came out and NVIDIA was like, fuck, now's the time to get yeah. into handhelds. So that sounds like something they would do, yeah. I'm not mad at them, but I do get a little annoyed at misinformation. You see, when things get repeated over and over and over again, especially by big outlets, it begins to be accepted as fact. Nintendo is always three generations behind in hardware. Ergo, this must make sense. That's actually not the case. But let's actually see where this story began. It begins with the fact that MediaTek and NVIDIA are working together. Back in May of 2023, they announced an event called Computex, where they stated the following, NVIDIA is a world-renowned pioneer and industry leader in AI and computing. With this partnership, our collaborative vision is to provide a global one-stop shop for the automotive industry, designing the next generation of intelligent, always connected vehicles. Through this special collaboration with NVIDIA, we will together be able to offer a truly unique platform for the compute intensive software defined vehicle of the future. Now this was stated by MediaTek CEO Rick Sai and backed up by Nvidia's CEO Jensen. All right, fine. They're working together on chips for cars using AI. Nvidia has actually been focusing heavily on AI. Just listen to them talk about it themselves. You know karaoke, right? Taiwanese love karaoke. You're gonna join me on this one, okay? I will make you like me best. Yeah, sing, sing it with me. I really. This is the part. This is the part. Like and really. yeah. All right. With that kind of performance, I'm gonna hire AI next time. All right. So what does Nintendo even have to do with any of this? Nothing. Because before we get to that, 
We need to note a true rumor and report going on right now at this moment. MediaTek and NVIDIA are supposedly rumored to be working on co-developing a Snapdragon X Elite competitor supposedly releasing this year. Something that could possibly compete with Apple's M4 chip. This is according to a Chinese website called money.udn. And while we cannot verify the validity of the report, what we can do is see what was said in that report via WCCF Tech. And what it's about is quite clearly not gaming. This rumor is about the AI PC space. What a shocker. Exactly what NVIDIA said they were focusing on. So how is this all wrapped up in Nintendo at all? A user on X called at XPEA GPU dragged Nintendo into the fray with exclusive insider knowledge. Their Twitter account has existed since March of 2022. And back then, all of their tweets were related to things about NVIDIA, things others were posting online about them. Still no indication exactly who this person even is, mind you. And they have talked about AMD a bit as well, but always in context to being worse than NVIDIA. Kind of feels like a fanboy. In fact, they got their real attention debunking rumors about NVIDIA that were negative in nature. You can see it right here, like debunking rumors, all AIBs, GPU2. All of this is just debunking popular rumors at the time. This is the first time you can see they got a little notoriety from their like to dislike ratio. Now, for our purposes, this is mostly useless stuff, but it is notable that those are the tweets when people started to pay attention to him. I dug through every single one of their tweets, and not once have they been a notable source for any insider information, merely commenting on rumors from others or commenting on officially released GPU-related details from AMD and NVIDIA, always favoring in. Video. All right, so why does this context matter? Well, I've been unable to find who made the first big deal out of what this person had to say in these various reports, but it did gain attention. And it's because of a tweet they made that claims multiple firsthand things. So this tweet reads, yup, and MediaTek is working on a gaming handheld SoC with NVIDIA GPU, as Jensen is frustrated by Nintendo and sees a good market potential. P.S. It's different than the new NV semi-custom div that tries to re-enter the console market. Some China-based clients are already interested. Now, again, he's claiming that NVIDIA is frustrated and that there is a piece of tech being made by MediaTek and NVIDIA for gaming purposes, for handheld gaming purposes, a competitor to the Nintendo Switch 2. And this exists because, again, frustration with Nintendo. Now, what are they frustrated about? Well, he clarifies some of this. So he says, if NVIDIA is frustrated, the console would not be about to be presented. And I also knew that this Nintendo does not want maximum power and still agree to work with Nintendo. He says, clarification. Jensen is extremely satisfied with switch numbers. This business is good. And he spelled business wrong. I said frustration in the sense that Nintendo products don't show what NVIDIA is capable of. That's why the new semi-custom division and their partnership with MediaTek. Again, showing here that eh, apparently this is all just them being mad that Nintendo's not using the latest and greatest tech that would be stupidly expensive, by the way, and doesn't have high profit margins. But let's go on because we need more clarification. This person says, sorry, I have to ask, but why is Jensen annoyed by Nintendo? They sold over 141 million Switches and Switch 2 is likely to be a success as well. And it says, because they always chose a tech three gens behind, even for $1. They don't want to update the GPU for a new gem model and thus skip major features, which again is indicating that the difference between what's in the Switch 2 and what they could have used is a single dollar. Not really any way to verify or back that up other than noting that the newer technology than the Ampere line, the 4000 series stuff, is significantly more expensive for consumers anyways. So take that for what you will. Now, these are some interesting accusations, not just that a gaming chip is in production between two companies whose partnership is based on cards and AI, but the CEO is frustrated with Nintendo because they are using old tech that's three generations behind, somehow making NVIDIA look bad in some way. 
What has Jensen actually said about Nintendo? Well, how about how happy he is with them? In fact, they have this nice little chart showing the boom in Tegra thanks to Nintendo Switch. Unfortunately, they stopped publishing data regarding the Tegra stuff after 2020 because other parts of their business became a focus, chiefly the aforementioned AI sector. Still, to act as if Jensen is upset at Nintendo's choice of what part of their tech to use seems misguided at best. For starters, Nintendo using older technology is generally cheaper to manufacture. Because of this, it means the profit margins are often much higher, meaning that NVIDIA benefits from this. After all, NVIDIA's primary focus is, well, to make money. Nintendo does that for them in spades. Add on to this, the person who made this magical first-hand account claims out of nowhere who has no prior credibility to his knowledge in the first place. So th this is just weird. Out of nowhere, this person with zero credibility is now getting notoriety due to an unproven tweet. So why did the story spread at all? Well, it's simple. People want to find a way to put Nintendo down. This has consistently been the case since the 12 gigabyte of RAM spec leak from the shipping information. It's the same song and dance. The system appears to be more powerful than people expected, so it's time to roll out the carpet of hate to bring Nintendo down a few notches. The desire of many to dismiss a market leader isn't lost on me, and in the end, there's no credibility to the claims in the first place. The headlines make for a nice bunch of clicks, but the information isn't backed up, sourced, or even validated. But we have plenty of instances of Jensen touting how happy he is with Nintendo. The bottom line is everything publicly looks very, very happy between Nintendo and Jensen, the CEO of NVIDIA. And why wouldn't it be? The partnership has worked out beautifully for both. Tons of sales, lots of money made for both companies. To me, it's a little wild to think that suddenly they'll be mad at Nintendo because they're releasing another budget product, which NVIDIA does make budget products, and one that's going to sell tens of millions of units, which is going to make NVIDIA money. It, it doesn't make any sense. And NVIDIA's entire thing today is all about AI, 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 because they know there's billions of dollars to make if they can become one of the leading chip manufacturers for AI. So to me, this really comes from two things. One, this person who made these claims has no credibility. Uh, and I understand that we cover a lot of rumors and leaks around here, but at least a lot of the people we've covered have gotten things right before. This person has no track history of that. But setting that aside... What I find even more fascinating is that this person is clearly an NVIDIA fanboy because of the way they constantly talk about any tech that isn't NVIDIA. Oh, AMD has better rasterization performance than an NVIDIA card? Yeah, well, NVIDIA is still better because of X, Y, and Z. And it's true, comparing the GPUs together is very hard to do, but can never seem to give credit to anyone but NVIDIA. So this seems like a massive NVIDIA fanboy who wants to find any way to put companies down, including now companies that might be still using NVIDIA technology just because they're not using the latest and greatest technology. They're using what they need to get the job done, not what you want them to ideally use that would be way too expensive for anyone to realistically take advantage of. I, I think that this is a situation where because Nintendo's spec leak ended up being more impressive than people expected, like higher RAM capacity than what's in the Xbox Series S, that people just want to find a way to keep putting Nintendo down. To me, this is the classic Nintendo is doomed, and they've been doomed for over 100 years. No matter what Nintendo does, they get seemingly more hate than any other console maker in the industry. Of course, that's what I would say if Microsoft wasn't getting a ton of flack over the last six months. That being said, uh, Nintendo Switch 2 is probably going to be just fine. I don't think there's any actual issues between Jensen and Nintendo. you got to remember how wild these claims are. Think about this for a moment. They are in supposedly an active agreement for the next decade of components for a brand new platform. Do you think the CEO of that company is walking around behind the scenes going, man, I'm angry with someone we have a 10-year partnership with. Man, I'm angry at this company that made us billions of dollars. No, let's just be... Just, just think with your own brain for a moment. Why the heck would the CEO privately be dissing a company that they have a decade-long contract with? 
in the future. It makes just no sense from any logical point of view. And Nintendo makes them a lot of money. Is the amount of money Nintendo makes them a smaller segment of what it used to be? Well, yeah, because NVIDIA has expanded into AI, which is exactly what they're working with MediaTek on. So I... I don't know. I think this is just much to do about nothing. And it's unfortunate to see these sort of stories spread because it creates this narrative that isn't actually true, but people want it to be because they want just another reason to attack an industry leader. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojans from Nintendo Prime. Let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next video.